I went to the emergency room a total of six times over a period of about three years for AFib. My name is John Peterson. I'm 62 years old. I'm married to my wife, Kim. I have two dogs, a pug, Monty, who's four, and then we found Muneka, who's a 10-year-old Shih Tzu, at the shopping center on Christmas Eve this last year during a rainstorm. Before I had AFib, it came to light that I had sleep apnea. My drinking alcohol made it worse, as did my uh, weight problem. But a year and a half after I was using the CPAP machine, I developed AFib. It woke me up about three o'clock in the morning. I knew something wasn't right. I felt anxiety in my chest. It's always at three or four o'clock in the morning. It was always after I had alcohol, no matter how little or how much. And it seemed it happened every three or four months. So they put me on a maximum a dose of an antiarrhythmia drug. Within the next four months, I went into atrial fibrillation again. I decided that I needed to do something about my atrial fibrillation. The hospitalizations were uh, um, affecting uh, my ability to be at work were concerning my wife and frankly were concerning me. I followed up with the cardiologist. She recommended Dr. Salcedo. John had tried uh, some medications to control his heart rate and to control his rhythm and unfortunately he broke through that um, a few weeks later coming back to the ER and needing to receive uh, further treatment for it. My procedure was Tuesday morning, and I went home on a Wednesday, and I was back to work the following Monday. John's ablation went very well. It was, I would say, a standard uh, type of ablation where we looked for our usual targets and were able to get his pulmonary veins easily isolated. Since the ablation, I've had a few lifestyle changes. I've started going to the gym, three times a week using having a coach help me with my exercise. And to this date, he's actually lost 30 pounds since his ablation. For those of you who are considering ablation, find an EP specialist who you feel confident in. It was one of the best things I did for myself and my family. I went into medicine knowing I wanted to help people. I get to do that every day and I get to do it in a way that helps people live a healthier and happier life for many, many more years.